Comparing two groups with not normally distributed or ordinal data is the reason we need Man Whitney U test instead of T test. So today we'll learn how to conduct and visualize Man Whitney U test you see on the screen with one simple command, how to interpret all these results, and why this test is sometimes called Wilcoxon Rang Sum Test. ISLR package provides a wage dataset with salaries of IT and industrial workers. We'll take 15 random people from every group and compare their salaries in order to figure out who earns more. But before using a non-parametric Man Whitney U test, we have to make sure that our data is really not normally distributed. Because using Man Whitney U test for normally distributed data out of laziness to check for normality, might produce a completely wrong result. For that, we'll use the normality function from the Luca package, which conducts Shapiro built normality tests with every group. Low p value in one of the group is enough to conclude that our data is not normally distributed, so we are sure that using a Man Whitney U test is a right choice. And the best way to compute our test, in my opinion, is the ggbetweenStats function from ggstatsplots package, which needs only four arguments. First, our data d, with x as the grouping variable job class and y being salaries. Finally, since our data is not normally distributed, we'll choose a non-parametric type of statistical approach and ggbetweenStats automatically uses Man Whitney U test for comparing two groups. Such simple command results in this statistically rich and publication-ready plot. Now let's interpret the results. W statistics explains why our test is sometimes called Wilcoxon rank sum test. Namely, the test first ranks our data independently of the group then sums the ranks for each group, which is the reason the test is called rank sum. And finally, sums of the ranks are then used to calculate the W statistics, where W itself obviously originates from Bill Coxon, a scientist who developed the test at roughly the same time as Mann and Whitney. The U statistics in Mann Whitney U name is calculated slightly differently compared with W statistics, but produces identical p values. And that's what both VW and U statistics were previously used for to look up a p value in some table. But nowadays, all statistical software compute p values by default, so nobody cares about W and U statistics anymore. However, the rank sums, which we just calculated, are incredibly useful for understanding the test. And here is why. Our p-value of 003 shows a moderate evidence against the null hypothesis that groups are similar in favor of the alternative hypothesis that groups differ. This difference is often reported as a difference in medians. But here is the catch. No medians were used when we calculated sums of ranks. The p-value shows whether there is a difference in sums of ranks, not medians. The medians are simply more intuitive than ranks for displaying the not normally distributed nature of our data. And that is why it can easily happen that medians are identical, especially with ordinal data, while samples are still significantly different. I freaked out the first time I saw it, so I hope you will not. Alright, our p-value tells us that there is a difference between salaries of industrial and IT guys. However, a p-value does not say how big this difference is. Moreover, the difference in medians is also useless, because medians were not compared and could be identical. Fortunately, ggbetweenStats provides a run by serial correlation coefficient with 95% confidence intervals as the measure of the effect size, which shows how large the difference is. The interpret rank by serial function from effect size package helps to interpret this effect size and even provides a reference. Our effect size of minus 0.47 indicates a very large difference in salaries between our groups. So, as you can see, both the test itself and its name are confusing, and I prefer to stay with Man Whitney U name because Wilcoxon rank sum test 
can be easily mistaken with the Wilcoxon signed rank test, which can only be applied for paired samples. People often say they use Wilcoxon test, but when I ask which of both they mean, they mostly don't know. But it's very important to know, because otherwise, as the p-value shows, we can get a completely opposite result. However, if your data is paired and you want to understand paired Wilcoxon test really well, check out this video.